it's time for my weekend grocery haul uh, excuse my hair it's nasty weather it's raining and there's nothing I can do with this mess except put it up in a ponytail um, I'm tempted to just whack it all off but no I'm not gonna do that um, but uh, I this is the first weekend in November so um, it's the weekend I tend to stock up on various things. Now, let's talk about my budget. My budget for the month is $60 a week. But I decided, you know, during the year, some weekends, some Saturdays, there's, okay, some months there's five Saturdays, some months there's four Saturdays. So I decided to treat every month like there's five Saturdays. So $60 a week. So I'm just going to say, $300 a month. So $300 a month is what I've budgeted for the month of November. And that's for two in my household. Um, I think I think we'll be fine with that. Pretty sure, I mean, well, we're just going to be because that's what I've budgeted and dadgummit, I'm going to stick to the budget. So I do tend to, at the beginning of the month, kind of stock up on a few things. So I spend a little more the first weekend of the month than I do towards the end of the month. So let me show you what I picked up this weekend at my various grocery stores. This is everything that I got. I did go to, well, I went to um, Walmart and Ramey's, which is a local grocery store near my home. But right before I got off, well, right before I left work, I went to the discount grocery store, which is um, not far from where I work and got this. Y'all, yeah, they have a they have a, a Facebook page and I had seen yesterday that they got a big shipment of produce in. So I had to go. I had to go and get the spaghetti squash. Um these run at my various grocery stores. I've seen them anywhere from 99 cents a pound to two or three dollars a pound. When my discount grocery store has these spaghetti squash, they're 99 cents each. So look, I don't know if you can tell how big that thing is. These are big spaghetti squashes. So I got three of them, 99 cents each, and that's all I got at the discount grocery store. So here... Let's wait for the silly thing to focus. Okay. There's my discount grocery store receipt. And 98, 99 cents each. So that was $3 with tax. $3.18. Y'all. You just can't. You can't get spaghetti squash for that price anywhere. And I've, it's, it's gotten to where that's the only time I buy spaghetti squash because I know when they get it in it's going to be 99 cents for each one instead of per pound y'all these are probably four or five pounds each these are big these are real big so I was real happy with that spaghetti squash purchase okay now let's move on to Walmart so I went to Walmart this morning and this is a bit of a stock up haul definitely so, um, well, actually, everything is. You know, I've got some Petri, I've got some pantry preps and just various kitchen preps in here. So, um, my daughter wanted to put sugar on the list, and last time I got her the little four pound bag, I decided, you know what, I'll just get the big bag. <laughs> Y'all, sugar has gone up so much, it's ridiculous. Um, this 10-pound bag of sugar was $6.12 at my grocery store. But um, I decided to go ahead and get it. That'll last her a good long while. And then I got, what is this, five, this 5-pound five bag of buttermilk cornmeal mix. Thanksgiving's coming up. I'm going to need to make a pan of cornbread for cornbread dressing. And so, and that's, I mean, I don't buy it often. But this was $3.97 and White Lily, pretty dang good cornmeal mix. That's pretty good. And then I saw this. They had just gotten this in at my local Walmart. And um, I thought I'd get one of, each, one of each flavor for my daughter to try. These are $2.98 each. But they're just the soup bowls, noodle bowls, and everything. So, um... $2.98 for each of those. And then 
um, stocking up again for the month on these sides that my daughter likes. So I got some of the pasta, some of the rice. Um, I don't know why, but some are $1.32 and some are $1.26. So I got, it looks like I got a total of eight. So um, I guess the uh, pasta, I think the pasta ones are $1.32 and the rice ones are $1.26. So, that was a stock up item. And then I got two of these little cans of the Great Value Green Chilies. Um, four ounce, little four ounce cans. And they were 78 cents each. And another little stock up for the pantry. They had, they still have the ranch tuna. The little packets here. So I got four of those. Those are 92 cents. And then I got the 8 ounce bag, little bag of the cubed Colby and Monterey Jack. These are $2.37 each. And this right here is the most expensive thing, but this will last a month or maybe even more. This is a big bag. Let me see how big it is. This is a almost four and a half pound bag of chicken nuggets. This is $12.48, but y'all, for chicken nuggets, $12.48 for almost four and a half pounds, not a bad deal. So, um, this will definitely last at least a month or more. So, that's everything right there that I got at Walmart. And, when you look at everything, and here's my receipt before tax this was 5591 and with tax 5982 y'all that's my 60 bucks right there everything else came out of um the rest of the month's budget but you know i can't turn down those spaghetti squashes over there now ramey's had a real good sale this weekend now this is this is what i got at ramey's over here this is on the friday saturday special so these prices were only good Friday and Saturday this week. So, the uh, five pound bag of russet potatoes were two for five dollars. So, I got two of them right there. Two of them. And then they had the little butcher shop sausages on sale for three fifty dollars each. I got a jalapeno and cheddar and I got a blueberry. Y'all, this blueberry sausage. Oh, that's so good. It's a little carby. If you're watching your carbs, but it is so good, so good. And then they had the little Martha White muffin mixes for I think they were yeah four for five dollars, so dollar twenty five each. So I got a chocolate chip, wild berry, strawberry, and blueberry. And this was the deal. This was the main reason I went to Ramey's. This is the lowest price on butter that I've seen in my area in a while. So, the one pound box of butter, the four sticks, this was $3.49 each, limit of four, so I got four. I'm going to pop these in the freezer because, um, uh, yeah, butter and best price is so good. Walmart has got their great value brand is just regular prices four dollars and 48 cents that's a whole dollar off on the butter so yep stocked up on the butter so they do need to change the ribbon in their receipt so i guess i'll just have to try to read it to you oh gosh okay so before tax this was thirty dollars and 96 cents and with tax it was 33.13 and we're just not going to be able to see that Bible verse at all. But there's the Bible verse. Uh, I think it's Philippians something. I don't know. I'm going to have to, I don't know. I'm going to have to tell them. They need to change their ribbons more often. We can't read the receipts. All right. Let's take a look at November's budget. So here's my total budget for the month. And at the discount grocery store, I spent three eighteen. At Walmart, it was fifty nine eighty two, and Ramey's was thirty three thirteen, totaling ninety six thirteen. And over here, I take that away, and y'all, I've still got for the rest of the month of October 
$203.87, which is going to include anything I need to pick up for Thanksgiving. So, um, I think we're in good shape for the month. Well, y'all, there's my grocery haul for this weekend. Um, I got some really good deals, especially at that discount grocery store, and Ramey's had that really good sale on the butter. A um, little bit of a stock up haul, pantry preps, things like that. Um, can't run out of butter, and when I see a good price on butter, I'm going to stock up. So I'm really pleased with all the items that I got this weekend. That's going to be it for this grocery haul, and I will see y'all later. Bye.